Right, with us we have Namibia's triple world champion, Julius Ndongo. Julius, now preparing for the biggest fight in your life. Five titles on the line. You're going to fight Terence Crawford, 19 August, in Nebraska. How are you feeling about that? Um, I feel very proud of such opportunity that uh, I never even dreamed to, to have in my life. So this is, ever I call, I call it, a, it's my, it's a dream come true. So I will just emphasize on this that uh, America, we are coming. We are coming and we are very strong. So they must not even, th must not think that we, we Africans, we are uh, having some intendance of fairness or other intendance of, uh, of that we will like, we rely on one side of a negative way, so we are a strong team. We don't fear other men like us. So like me, I've been in this game for more than 15 years, and I know I've fought more than 500 opponents, and I never experienced, I never even saw any tough time that I got from anyone. So it's ever been easy when they say, uh, when, they, when they're outside, just come in, inside the ring and see how do I give problems. So. So America, we are coming, we are, will be on May 19, 19 August. It's going to be a historic event that, and let's just hope that there will never be any, any knockouts comes out from the two sides, either my side or his side. But if, if things go the way I plan it, or things go the way I could see it, uh, the world is going to be surprised. Because I'm a fighter that love fighting. If you can stand for fighting, that's what I mean business. It's the real business that's coming up and that's going to be rocking the world. It's going to surprise the world. It's going to, to wonder how many box. I don't know how many boxes are going to worry about this, but it's going to happen. They must just wait on the 19 August. It's going to be a historic event which will not be forgotten. And most of the people, they are going to know where Namibia is in the world. Great. Julius, tell us, you were at um, Crawford's last fight when he beat Diaz mm. in America. What did you think of his performance? So he performed well. Uh, Crawford is a good fighter, according to us, and I've been following him because he's uh, one of my inspire. Like it was, it's him and uh, Ringo Dos and uh, Manny Pacquiao. Because those guys, they, they are very friendly when it comes to the boxing. They don't consider like it's the other way around. They respect uh, uh, opponents, so and that's how I am. So it's, this is going to be a man-on-man -man fight. So in, uh, in the way he fought that night, uh, I don't know whether Diaz or came for for standing in the ring or he came to fight, but he was too short for him. That's how I think. He was too short and he was too he was like standing, and he could not even use mind. I don't know why he doesn't use brain or something but this is going to be something else it's going to be a two and men and two, 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 two men on the, in the in the ring whereby we are going to use physically mentally so those are the two things that are going there spiritual life is also be accompanied i believe so from the two side of the